And here on a Thursday morning, the one, the only, the Coach Allen Crazy. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Good to have you in here this morning. Hey, first, I want to talk about uh, Jeff Pugh's son, Rick, that got <laughs> yeah. injured the other day. You said you talked to Jeff over the weekend. How's he doing? Uh, from, from the reports we've gotten after the surgery, he's doing very well. Uh, you know, he, he, they were playing the county middle school championship right. uh, Saturday morning, and this is all here. So, of course, I guess I heard it from Jeff, but anyway, Brick, his son, came up to make a tackle and, and got twisted on and fallen on in the pile and, and broke his femur in four places. Ooh. But uh, he's had surgery. The surgery went well, and, and everything expected to recover uh, back to normal. So, wow. you know, we, we, uh, we're, all, we're all praying for the Pew family. I mean, that's tough to have something like that happen. It's been to, a tough what, year for Coach Pew. It has. Dad it dying has. And, you know, but uh, I talked to Dennis yesterday, Dennis Black, the principal over there. He's going to be well, out, what, six months? Yeah, and we have the kid coming up tomorrow who won Working that, play? as you just mentioned, the cook-off. That's right, Abby's yesterday. She's going to be, be here tomorrow us. cooking for us, too. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that. Mm -hmm. Ah, you got a big one. Does it get any bigger than tomorrow night? No, no, it doesn't get any <laughs> at bigger. Russell. At Russell, at um, Russellville, which you know, right, right now the, the the condition of our field that's probably good. We're still we're still pretty pretty wet right now, but hopefully we'll be it's continuing. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Well, it's supposed to rain to, uh, tonight, tonight and tomorrow. all day. Tomorrow. Let me ask you on, rain, on, so. on a situation like that. I remember back when old days when I played, so they never called a game off basically because of wet weather. Nowadays, that seems to be the a common occurrence. Well, we haven't we haven't moved one. The only reason that we won't play is thunder and lightning. Uh, you know, so, uh, and 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 that's kind of what we're. Expecting. I think there's a chance tomorrow. A good chance. There's, there's a chance mm -hmm. tomorrow. We're hoping that it gets out by uh, by game time. What time is the call made before people start traveling to Russellville? Well, it just depends on on how the weather is. If it's and and you know we're we're we'll be watching the radar all day tomorrow. Um, and, and, and kind of looking to see when the front's going to hit, when the heavy rain's going to be here. Is, it, is there lightning expected? Uh, things like that. But, you know, it's kind of a play it by ear situation. Uh, what do you, do you expect your team different? no, differently? No. We, 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 we'll prepare for Friday. And if, if we can't play on Friday, of course, we'll have to postpone it to Saturday. The weather's supposed to be good uh, <laughs> Saturday, but, you know, High school football is supposed to be played on Friday night, yeah. and it's supposed to be played outside, and you deal with what you get. <laughs> well, what are you expecting tomorrow night? Well, we're expecting the same thing we always <laughs> expect, a tough, hard-fought game. Uh, you know, the, the series between Athens and Russell has been pretty heated, you know, and there have been some great games. The, the problem is we've come up on the short end of the stick uh, most of the time over the last eight years. So um, hopefully we'll, we'll do better this time. You know, we've, we've had the lead in the fourth quarter. Uh, several times through the course of this series, and we haven't been able to finish the game, and that's been something that we've been stressing all week is to finish. Does that play in any with psychologically, maybe with your players? That, hey, you know, we just can't beat Russellville. I don't think so. I think if you played the same group of kids every year, it, it, it may, but the team changes every year. You know, things roll over. You play different kids, and and uh, different kids come into the to the season with with a different success experience and uh, and this group of seniors that we have has been have been pretty successful and and um, we expect to do well all right you're mm -hmm. six and two win tomorrow on your first round playoff home right right well, right it's that, that and that's what you're looking for that's that's you know that, that's the that's the big thing out of that's going to come out of this game other than the the traditional rivalry uh, things. You, you, we're playing for home field advantage. In, in region play now, they take the top four teams in the region. The top two teams have home field advantage. The top, bottom two teams travel and play the top two teams of another region. So uh, that, that, it's huge that you're at home the first round of the playoffs. Well, winding down the season so far, eight games under your belt, how's it been? Well, it's, it's, it's been good. We've had a good year. We've continued to improve every week. Uh, we had a couple of a bad game. You know, the first game of the year was terrible, but we learned a lot from it and we improved a lot because of it. We played Hartzell and we didn't make the plays at the end of the game we had to make. They did, uh, but we had an opportunity to win that game also, you know, and and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for guys that are going to compete, that are going to keep battling, 
that are going to find things that they do wrong and come back the next week and try to get them fixed, and that's what we've had. All right, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the Alabama-Tennessee game. Wes Brown, one of your, I guess, great players in the past, final game against Alabama, wanting to wear orange jerseys. you think they're going to do it? I, I, I don't know. I don't have any, to be honest, I haven't really kept up with that part of it. Uh, now, Wes came uh, – to our game Friday night, you know, he was here, and, and so we had a chance to, to see him and visit with him, and then, uh, you know, the guys that are down at Tuscaloosa, they, they come back, we, we see them a, a good bit. So uh, it's going to be a, a, a big game for the city of Athens, a big game for our, our program, just because of the people that we have involved in it. Uh, you know, Wes is, is he is uh, going into his, his his last game with Alabama on two bad knees, and is playing. Uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a tribute to him the fact that he's able to play at the level that he plays at with uh, with the condition that he's in. Uh, well, and, he's grown a lot. A good well, you know, <laughs> he was a defensive end last yeah. year, and they were lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, get faster, get faster, and he did. You know, he cut down to uh, below 250 at one time, and now he's. <laughs> pushing 280 again, he's playing him back inside, and, and wow. he's been able to take the athleticism that he had at defensive end and move it into defensive tackle, and he's, he's a heck of a player. Is he better at that weight, or what do you think? I, I you think, know him. What do you think? I think he's better at the position he's playing with that weight. Wes, if, if, if they needed him to play linebacker, he could play there. He's, he's, a, he's a great football player, has a great instinct, and a, a great work ethic. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's the kind of player that everybody wants on their team. And you say yeah, Alfred's playing too. some at the Bama. Alfred's also. playing some on the offensive line. He plays on the left side. He's been playing tackle when he's gone in the game. He's also well on their, uh, their goal line package uh, where Terrence Cody moves to fullback. Uh, Alfred's on that package where he's a starter in that. Uh, I think they're going to give group. the ball to Cody one of these days. Well, they, sure they probably they will. They I probably think Bama will beat Tennessee by 20 points, but that's just me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you would think All that. All right, Coach, good luck tomorrow. I predict y'all going to beat Russellville, too. But you heard you. it first right here. <laughs> good luck there. We'll be right. seeing you next week. Yeah, kind of take a short break, come back. We'll do Bob Labby Sports. Woo. We'll see how everybody's doing, faring in their picks and what picks we've got for this week. Y'all hang on.